going to that vegan market thing and it was crowded it was a lot of vegan desserts like they advertised there was a little bit of like there's this vegan barbecue sandwich thing i think as well and then there were some other things that you'd have to like wait for and i wasn't really there to go get like my actual meal i wasn't planning on really staying and i didn't really film it because i was too intimidated but um i did end up getting two cookies this one's a little melted and i believe it's from a company called high chickpea so these cookies are actually made out of chickpea um, so i didn't actually stay there because like i said it was it was quite crowded and like that area i'm not really familiar with so i just felt very overwhelmed so i bought my cookies and i literally hopped on the subway and went back um was it worth the rush hour subway maybe not but it was an experience and then i just felt like treating myself so in gangnam station like underground there's like this big shopping area and there's this uh, flower market that i always walk by and it's always so beautiful so i decided to buy myself some flowers because i recently bought myself an actual vase vase whatever you want to call it so I thought, you know what, let's put this to some use and put in some flowers. They smell so good. Um, but yeah, so I just bought a thing of sunflowers because you know what, treat yourself. Happy Friday. Okay, so it is a Saturday. Um, it's a little cloudy out, but it's also supposed to be hot today and I am not confident in what I'm wearing, aka all black and slightly long sleeves. I really want to change actually. I don't trust myself in this. So today I'm having a picnic with some friends from uni, uh, but that's later this evening. We're supposed to meet like around 5.30 or whatever. So I have like the morning and afternoon off basically to do whatever I want. And I'm thinking about going to check out this cafe that I've been wanting to check out for a while. I just haven't and just chilling there reading and that's basically it I don't really plan on doing a lot today I'm going to change and then we're going to go to this cafe mm -hmm. and just chill there for like an hour or two
I just got back from the cafe, my little outing, and I am so sweaty. My back is so sweaty. I cannot wait to take a shower tonight. So I was only at the cafe for like an hour. And yeah, it was very chill, it was very nice. I would go there again. I got a tiramisu and just an Americano. And the tiramisu was really good, solid. And I would go there again, I really liked it. But anyways, uh, and then I decided to walk back to my place, which is like a 40 minute walk. Because when I got out of the cafe, I wasn't hot and it was a little bit breezy. So like, and it's not like, the sun's not directly out because it's a bit of a cloudy day. So I thought, you know what, let's just walk it instead of like taking the bus. Um, but now I'm really sweaty and uh, I feel very gross. So I'm going to try to cool down before I have to go back out. Anyways, that's it. I will catch you up later. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hello, it is actually a Monday and it is like 11.30 and you're probably thinking, oh, why are you not at work? Because it's a holiday. Um, I need to go to Itaewon and I think the cafe that I want to go to is already open. So hopefully it's not too crowded. Last time I went there, it wasn't crowded at all, but that was also like a Thursday night. So we'll see. Anyways. It is a beautiful 
Wednesday. Yeah, it's a Wednesday morning. It's currently 7.40 something. And I'm not going to work today. Um, I'm not skipping or anything like that. I have a workshop um, to go to with the Gangnam Office of Education. We have a teacher's workshop and they do this for a lot of teachers all around Korea. You'll have workshops um, that you get to go to. So you don't have to teach. You just go and do some sort of, it's usually some sort of like cultural activity. So today we're actually going to a different city south of Seoul. So we're actually leaving Seoul and we are going to be making makgeolli, which I'm very excited for because I've always wanted to learn how to make makgeolli. And there are some classes that you can take and stuff. And I'm actually signing up to take a makgeolli making class at a cafe later on this month. But this experience was offered for the teachers in Gangnam. So we are going to do that and I'm thrilled because yeah, like I said, I've always wanted to learn how to make makgeolli. And makgeolli, if you don't know, is like a rice wine. It's one of Korea's traditional alcohols with soju, makgeolli. Um, these are two very popular common alcoholic beverages. And I would choose makgeolli over soju any day because I am not a fan of soju. I do not drink it <laughs> anymore. Um, I don't really like it, so I don't drink it. <laughs> but makgeolli, I love. So I'm excited to have that. Um, and I believe we get to take some home with us, which is uh interesting but anyways i gotta go catch a bus now to the meeting area and i will see you all later <laughs> Good morning. It is currently 10 o'clock, almost 10 in the morning. It is a uh, kind of gloomy Saturday morning. Um, we're actually entering, or we just started monsoon season here in Korea. So it's gonna be a lot of uh, rainy days and humidity, which I don't like. Anyways, today I am getting brunch with a friend and then we are going to finish doing like a this photo shoot thing that she's doing for her freelance working and we're going to be making some uh milk alternatives today we are making oat milk and almond milk i think um but yeah that'll be fun last week we made soy milk at my apartment which i didn't really film but um yeah, that was an experience. <laughs> um, so today we'll be doing that. And then I don't really have anything else going on. I don't know if I'm gonna do anything. I might just come home early because I need to clean my apartment. That's it for today. So I will take you along. Hopefully it won't rain today. Fingers crossed. Let's go. Thank 
another Saturday afternoon, early afternoon. Anyways, um, so today I'm actually going to a vegan fair. So there is the Korea Vegan Fair 2022 is being held this weekend. Yesterday was the first opening day, um, but I didn't go. And it's actually being held at the Coex Mall, which is like 30 minutes away from me. I don't know, I think they will have, I know that they're gonna have like food and they will also have like um, beauty products and other miscellaneous like daily life products. So I will take you along. I'm not sure if I can actually film in the fair, but it's kind of like the booth system where like every company or brand has their own booth that they put up. All right, let's head out and hopefully I will not die in this humidity. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. All right, let's go. 